I'm Paul Wilson with Pottinger Ireland. Uh, we're here today in the south of Ireland in County Carlow and we're showcasing the latest generation of our Tarasum sea drill. There's lots of new features uh, in this machine. A lot of features are in the technology side which we'll see when we jump in the cab. We're here sowing oilseed rape uh, with a little bit of fertilizer and uh, also some slug pellets. So we've the ability to do all three. Uh, the tractor requirement of this machine really depends on the conditions. Today we're in a 724, we're cruising at 12 kilometers an hour, could go faster, um, but you can go up to any tractor horsepower with this drill. This drill is a robust drill, it's made for any tractor on the market, so it really depends on the conditions, but we like to use the lightest tractor as possible, I suppose, that we can get away with, and it's a nice match today with the 724. So the first of the key features is starting here with the connection to the tractor. We're going in through the load sensing uh, of the machine, so just three pipes on the hookup, so very easy to hook on and off. We're not fighting with spool valves and flow rates and trying to remember where we were last season. And that opens up a whole new dynamic for the machine and how the machine is controlled. What's also very nice when you have the Isobus joystick, you can assign all these assignments to the joystick. So your lifting, lowering, all that is done through the load sensing and assignment. So we're, today we're only using the Fent 1 system and it's controlling all our assignments. So we're not using the control box only for visual. We have a, a new valve block here which is controlling everything on the machine. So what I mean by that, instead of setting fan speeds and things like that with a spool valve, it's remembered with our job computer. And when you change from one C to the other, the machine will control the fan speed directly. It also opens up a lot of opportunity for section control. So this machine has six sections on the seed. So the seed or fart will, can be shut off in six sections, but supplement to that, the tractor can lift and lower the machine with section control. So on your ins and outs, you don't have to do anything. Once you hit the boundary, uh, the tractor will lower the cultivation discs and the seeding automatically. This is a brand new feature just launched. Uh, we have the terminology of it called Profiline. So one of the feedbacks from the demonstration so far is the ground adaption of this machine. So what we mean, the wings have the ability to adjust to the terrain. They can come up and down five degrees or even more, uh, depending on the circumstances. So we're always keeping in contact with the cultivation discs and the seeding discs. The cultivation discs are very big, 510 millimeters. We, general, we don't generally need them that big in Ireland, but what's nice is they last a long time because the diameter is so big, so people are really satisfied by the wearing of this machine. Yeah, we have the optional jockey wheel out front. It's similar to our raking technology, but it guides the uh, drill uh, over contours and allows it to follow and adapt the ground in a really nice way. Also, when you're going shallow, it, it keeps the machine stable at, at very high speed, which you can reach high speeds with this drill, I don't know, 17, 18 kilometers an hour, depending on the conditions. So that's just keeping everything nice and stable in the ground. This is the optional 5,600 litre seed hopper. It's split 60-40. What that translates into, roughly about three tonne of fertilizer, a little bit more in the 60 and maybe two and a half tonne of seed. So they're huge carrying capacity. We also have a smaller option of 4,200 uh, litre hopper as well. The hopper is pressurized and that allows for the big rates of uh, fertilizer if you need to uh, applicate that through the rear of the machine. Uh, this machine is unique. We have the option to what we call single shoot fertilizer, which is putting the fertilizer down with the seed. And then the other option is double shoot, where it's putting the fertilizer between the seed. Or you can do a mix of both if you want to put half the rate down, if you're using big rates, and the other half uh, beside the seed. Uh, it gives huge flexibility with this machine, and that's what uh, in maybe the southeast of Ireland with uh, malting barley where they use a lot of fertilizer, this machine is a great option for that area. A really nice feature of this machine is the cultivation disc pattern in conjunction with this machine being fully symmetric. So if you split this machine in half, you have the very same amount of equipment left and right. And the real benefit of that is using auto steer. Up until now, it was always a game to get the auto steer to work in the correct way because one row of discs would want to pull the machine left or right or, or vice versa, and it was always a fight. Uh, the last demonstration we were, the customer had a six meter machine of another brand and he'd never used auto steer while drilling. So the X format is really, really great for uh, anyone with 
with a requirement for auto steer, which is basically everyone now uh, in the industry. Um, so it's working really well and we're very happy with that system. How it works uh, in a simple form, it's two three meter discs mounted beside one another. Instead of being one full row of gangs going one direction and then the other, one row goes one direction and then in the middle it turns the other direction. So both rows are getting the same grip and the machine just stays going straight then. It's not being pulled left or right. So moving on, we have Packer tires for reconsolidating after cultivation. They're nice and wide, 420 mil, and they're also in a staggered format to help with pulling and to stop a buildup of material in, in tough conditions in front of the reconsolidation tires. Moving on from that here now, and this is unique to our machine, you can see how we've mounted the seed bar. It's mounted through a parallel system. Basically what that means, instead of the coulters being rigid onto the frame, and then when you go over a hill, the coulters have the tendency to come up. Or if you go into a, a valley, the, tendons, the coulters have a tendency to be pushed down. We've said no to that. And we have a parallelogram system now. So it allows the coulters to always stay in the perfect contact with the undulations. And we're regulating the coulter pressure all the time. So if we do go into a valley, the coulter pressure will regulate to keep the constant coulter pressure. We're not over pressurizing or under pressurizing when we go over a, a hill. So it's really nice feature to keep constant seed depth uh, with this machine. So moving on to the coulters, we have two options, a five inch spacing or a six inch spacing. We don't say which is better. We give the customer the option. The tendency what we've seen is for the wider spacing now and this machine is, it's the six inch spacing. All Pottinger seed drills, we always use the same coulter arm length. So what I mean by this, this is the coulter arm. The inside one is the same length as the outside one. We're not going with a long coulter arm and a short coulter arm like some brands. What this allows is equal coulter pressure. We claim 120 kilograms of coulter pressure, but in reality it's much higher than that. I think closer to 200 at maximum. Uh, it's hydraulically regulated. What's really nice about all this is you set it all from the cab and you will see it on the screen later. So your sea depth and your coulter pressure is all set from the display and you have a readout from the display. We have a big coulter disc as well. So, and the bearing held inside the coulter disc. So a lot of movement, uh, room for movement of trash and of, in difficult conditions. It allows a lot of material through. So following on from our IDS head, which has been out 10 years, that's been uh, able to allow any tramline option. This one has taken it a step further. This is the new development of the IDS head and it's allowing uh, full section control also now on our sea drills. So this is a six meter machine. It closes in meter sections. It also allows any tramline width. So what I mean by that, a six meter machine normally can't do a 15 meter tram line or a uneven number, but this one can. And all our sea drills have that ability. So for a contractor, it's a great machine that they're always going to different fields and customers with different tram lines and sprayers. Um, further to that then, you can decide how wide your tram line is. So yesterday, the customer had a self-propelled sprayer and he was over two meters on the axle width and we just set that in the cab and then Thirdly to that, you can set how many pipes you want to close. We've seen uh, development in people wanting to close more pipes, so leaving a wider tram line because they're using bigger tires on their machines and winter sewing. So today, uh, the customer has a trail sprayer. He's running it on a fent, so we've reduced the tram line width down to 185, his axle width, but we're still closing three pipes because he's leaving the wide tires on his machine. What's really nice now about the head or how it functions, while it's tram lining or while it's closing off uh, sections, it's allowing the air through and out to the coulter. And previous generations and other brands, when they start to close tram line motors, they're getting back pressure because there's nowhere for the air to go. And the seed rate in the machine is highly influenced then on what's left open, blowing seed out of the ground. Or, but this has a unique feature in the head that allows the air through but the seed not. Also on the road it's hugely important in Ireland. Uh, this machine folds up really nice. The centre wheels 
come up so they're not in contact with the road in transport position so that gives a real stable feel. In addition to that we have air brakes on this drill, that's not a standard feature but I think it's uh, more and more important as we go on and it gives great control of this tractor at high speeds. The onboard air system also gives uh, an air reel so for maintenance so if you're dealing with a lot of fertilizer that you need to keep the machine clean or clean out from different varieties of seed we have an onboard air system to to help with that also